FrugalSim videos are powered by Jetline Systems. Hello YouTube, this is Frugal and this is the second of my mini tip series on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Going to look at a gotcha that I ran into with sceneries, a third party sceneries. This is Innsbruck. In fact, this should be Orb X Innsbruck and it looks pretty realistic and pretty awesome, but it's not. It has some problems and there's a reason for that in that there's a conflict between the built in version of this airport and Orbex's version. This is a problem you're gonna run into if you download third party versions of airports already customized and built into the sim. What we found is that when I landed here on a live stream, I hit the runway, the runway had some weird potholes and bounces and holes in it. My aircraft bounced, it was an A320, we were going quite slow and it bounced and it almost went up in the air again for no reason. It was just a bug with the scenery and conflicts. Let me jump into ready to fly here and I see if I can pop up in the camera. I'm still not very used to the cameras yet. There we go. And we'll spin this around, you can take a look. So it looks rather nice. Don't see any problems with that really, but it's not the way it should look. This is not exactly as it should be. In fact, I had a view on a live stream saying, Orbex Innsbruck does not look like that. Looks pretty good to me. You can see how easy it is to get confused. Here's how you resolve that. Escape, quit out, go back to the main menu. Once you get back into the main menu, it's going to take a moment or two to get there. Loading, loading, loading. Once you get there, you're going to click on profile. And within profile, you have something called content manager. Content manager is where you can manage these conflicts. So profile, content manager. What you can do is you can search by iCal code if you want to. So there's Lowy. And you can see I have Asobo Studios Innsbruck and I have Orbex's Innsbruck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that one. Dum dum dum. So it's in library, download is available because I've deleted it, but I'm not actually using it. So now if I go back over here, we'll go back to world map again, we'll create a flight, same place. So Innsbruck, we'll put our aircraft at the gate, or parking I should say, make sure the time of day is all good, click on fly. Now it's going to load up with just that one scenery. I didn't realize that this could be a problem in the new sim. It was a problem in the previous versions of Microsoft Flight Simulator, notably FSX. Uh, notably FSX using Orbex stuff. You'd need to go in and disable all sorts of built-in stuff to make the Orbex stuff work correctly. Uh, it seems to be that's still something of an issue with the new sim. So if you go do go and get a third-party scenery, um, an airport maybe from Epic Dream Team or Orbex or someone like that, do go into your profile content manager, find the airport and make sure that if there is a default enhanced version from Asobo, that that one is removed. Okay, you can download it again if you need to. You can download it again from that content manager as you just saw. But remove it, that makes sure that there are no conflicts and you should be good to go. Now I've not done this, this is the first time I've done this, so hopefully <laughs> the difference is dramatic. I don't think it might not be, but you are going to get rid of small minor quirks like with big holes on a runway and things like that. Kind of cool. See what happens. Should be about ready to preview. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look amazingly different, does it? But that's what you need to do. Oh, actually, that is look at that. This is quite different. This view is really quite different to what we currently what we had previously, and we are in the same position that we were previously at. Yeah, it's subtle. But now you can be sure you're using the third party scenery, not something odd. A weird uh, mix of two sceneries together causing all sorts of problems. Let me go ahead and see if I can change the time of day here. Uh, is it weather? Is it weather? It is weather. Let's change the time of day. Let's put this into the magic hour of nighttime there. Beautiful lighting in there. Now it's looking more like the screenshots when you're going to buy the damn thing. So that's it. Once again, if you're using third party sceneries, just to be sure you're not having conflicts, go into your profile content manager, search for that third party um, airport. If you have two of them, delete the Asobo one. That way you're making sure you're using a third party one. As always, my name is Frugal. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you all very soon.